Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope y'all are doing wonderful out there. It's Spencer Baird Mixing here again with another mixing tutorial. Um, on today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to deal with a snare drum. Just give you a couple tips, a couple tricks on how to mix it, how to EQ it, um, how to compress it. So you guys stay tuned. We're going to get right into it. <laughs> into it um, first thing we're gonna look at is the uh, snare drum that we're dealing with here um, let's just solo the snare drum up and listen to it by itself all right so right away you notice it's you know it's kind of low in volume it's uh, lacking you know a little bit of energy um, so first thing what I did was I went to this API 550 B equalizer by waves which I really like for EQing drums in particular I boosted 2 DB at 5 kilohertz so what that's doing is kind of brightening up the snare a little bit um, second thing I did was add a little energy at 1.5 um, just to give it a little more, um, I don't know, just, I call it energy around that area. It kind of gives it a little more energy. Um, 150 hertz. And I boosted this one quite a bit at 4 dB because I wanted the snare drum to have a little weight to it. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. So let's check this out. Let's see what it's doing on here. I'll do a before and after. Right away you notice it's coming more up front in the mix um, the next plugin that I'm using is this lo-fi plugin that comes with uh, Pro Tools and basically I just like to play with this sample rate and kind of I don't know what you call it maybe decrease the sample rate I guess I don't know what it's doing I just played with it one time just and it added like some grittiness to the sound so I really liked it um, let's hear what that's doing with it Again, it's real subtle, but um, I definitely notice it. Let's just loop this part right here where we can really hear it in effect. So let's solo this. See, that's without it. So now you can really kind of tell what it's doing. Um, really, it doesn't matter what it sounds like when, when it's soloed. So don't really worry about that. Just You just want to you know, know what you're going for. With this snare drum, I wanted a little grittiness to it. I wanted more power. So that's why I reached for these tools. So it kind of gives it like a fuzzy sound a little bit. And you're not going to notice that in the mix, but it is going to give it, it gives it like a little harmonic distortion, I guess. Now on this next plugin is the Decapitator, which a lot of people use for vocals. I use it a lot of times to distort vocals. But on this, I'm using it for just to kind of dirty it up a little bit more, even more with this drive control right here. Um, I just turned it up to about a little over two and then 
change the setting, uh, the style to P. You can play with these different styles and see which one you like. Um, took out a little bit of low cut right here. And then the tone I didn't mess with. I just left it where it was. Let's hear what this is doing. So you can hear like that's really kind of bringing the snare out a little more. Um, as you can tell, let's see if it actually increases in volume. Just barely, I mean, just barely adding a little volume to it. Not much at all. Um, a lot of times you got to be careful because sometimes people think that they're doing something good, but all you're really doing is just adding volume. Um, you have to be kind of careful with that. So um, that's pretty much it besides this last thing right here. So let's hear this, this snare drum blended in with all the other tracks first. The next thing that I did was, or the last thing that I did was, I wanted the snare to have a little reverb on it. So I actually produced this track in FL Studio. Um, so in there I had the, sn the same snare drum, but I used the reverb that was in FL Studio and I was kind of thinking like, should I use this in Pro Tools when I mix it down? Because I mix my tracks down in Pro Tools after, uh, after I make them in FL Studio. I was like, that sounded kind of cool. So I just bounced it out with the effect on it. So as you can hear, the snare drum right here is the affected uh, snare drum. So that's a pretty long snare, drawn out snare, um, a long delay on it. I I really like or a long release on the uh, the reverb. I really like the way it sounded, so I went with it. I like it kind of sitting under. Now you gotta kind of want to balance this, so let's go ahead and balance this sound, this uh, affected re uh, reverb snare drum. notice it is when it drops into this verse right here see it sounds much better with the reverb in my opinion all right, guys, that's been it for today's tutorial. Uh, remember, like I said, I am dropping a brand new tutorial every Tuesday at 12 p.m., so stay tuned for that. Um, follow me on Facebook at Spencer Baird. Also, add me on Snapchat at Sick Beats Prod. Also, follow me on Instagram at Sick Beats Prod. That's S-I-C-K-B-E-A-T-S-P-R-O-D. Alright guys, I will be catching y'all later. Peace.